Welcome to Sundry News for Monday, June 15th, beginning with the Daily Wire. Protesters in Asheville, Portland, Nashville, and Chicago try to create autonomous zones. Police aren't having it. At least there is sense somewhere. A second coronavirus stimulus check may be coming. Here's how much you could get and when. I've been wondering about this. Decisions I know haven't been made yet. Lawmakers in Congress, who spend most of their time bickering about minutiae and playing politics, are expected to get back to the business of the American people, which is figuring out a way to help the millions of Americans hurting because of the COVID-19 lockdowns and shuttering of businesses deemed non-essential during the pandemic. Pandemic panic. Okay. More than 44 million Americans have lost their jobs in an economy that was recently declared to be officially in a recession. Lawmakers agreed months ago to provide one-time payments of $1,200 to taxpayers who make less than $75,000 a year, but plans for a second payment have been mired in political wrangling and have so far gone nowhere. Last month, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi pushed a bill through the Democrat-controlled chamber that would spend some $3 trillion on a slew of projects, only a portion of which would go to taxpayers. Meanwhile, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has vowed that Republicans who control that chamber won't pass a bill that spends more than $1 trillion. President Trump, for his part, splits the difference, urging the passage of a $2 trillion stimulus bill. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said last week that the Trump administration is considering more direct payments to Americans to stem the financial pain caused by the coronavirus pandemic. I think we're going to seriously look at whether we want to do more direct money to stimulate the economy, Mnuchin said Wednesday, while te testifying before the Senate Committee on Small Business and Entrepreneurship. For myself, I can definitely promise that if they do more of that, it will go be going back into the economy. Under another $3 trillion package passed by House Democrats in May, the federal government could send a second round of $1,200 checks to American adults and children. But lawmakers say those payments wouldn't go out until July at the earliest. Some senators, including Senator Kamala Harris, who is on the shortlist to become Joe Biden's running mate, are pushing for more. Harris, Senator Bernie Sanders, and Senator Ed Markey proposed a bill in May that would give most Americans a monthly payment of $2,000 until the virus starts to recede. Well, no, see, that's too much. Similar to the universal base income pushed by former Democratic presidential candidate Andrew Yang. <clears throat> $2,000 every, every single month for every single person? No, that's, that is too much. From Bernie Sanders. Bills are piling up. Rent is due. Millions are jobless. A one-time $1,200 check won't cut it. We need to provide $2,000 a month to every man, woman, and child and make it retroactive to cover the past three months. Oh, my goodness. If we can bail out corporations, we can ensure everyone's needs. Yeah, that's way too much. But Congress is under no urgency to help Americans. In fact, lawmakers plan to take a two-week recess, CBS News reports, from July 3rd until July 17th. So any action to help won't come until after they return. Okay. Under the second stimulus bill, individuals were eligible for payments up to $1,200, but that amount declined for those with an adjusted gross income higher than $75,000 a year. The $12,000 payment dropped by 5% of every dollar above $75,000, or $50 for every $1,000. The benefit didn't apply for individuals with incomes over $99,000. Married couples with combined incomes up to 150000 uh, received $2,400, subject to the same phase-out that applies to individuals. The payments were phased out entirely for couples making $198,000 or more. Families also got $500 per dependent child under the age of 16. About 120 million U.S. taxpayers qualified for direct payments from the federal government under the bill, according to analysis by one think tank. So this is not really good news. Watch. Police body cam footage challenges narrative on death of Rayshard Brooks. Bill Maher says leftists defund the police movement will make Americans vote for Trump. I hope so. 
Meghan Markle drawn into racism row after best friend gets canceled and fired for white privilege. Oh my. Ben's latest op-ed with the death of George Floyd, Haynes' atrocity. Yes, I already read that. Ads. Moving on to the Daily Yahoo. Trump's unsteady ramp walk raises new health questions. The president tweeted that he had to descend a very slippery ramp after addressing West Point graduates. He also appeared to have difficulty lifting a glass of water to his mouth. This sounds, you know, a lot like the uh, speculation on Hillary Clinton's health back when she was running for president. And I seem to recall that people thought, some media outlets thought that it was just despicable to speculate uh, but here we go with that. Barbara Streisand helps George Floyd's daughter, Jana Six, become a Disney shareholder. Oh my goodness. Is that the same daughter who's, whose college is being paid for? Jana Floyd thanked Barbara Streisand in a post on Instagram. Why does a six-year-old have Instagram? Beijing outbreak grows to nearly 100 cases in tests for China. From Bloomberg, China is racing to control a new outbreak in Beijing that reached nearly 100 infections over the weekend, providing the biggest test of the country's coronavirus containment strategy since the pathogen first emerged in Wuhan. Officials are fanning out over housing compounds, knocking on doors, blah, 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 blah. U.S. cases up 1.1 percent. Ghana health minister infected. Virus update from Bloomberg. New York's new deaths fell for a second day, while Florida's cases outpaced the weekly average for a fifth straight day. A former top U.S. health official said new outbreaks are now occurring. Ghana confirmed the nation's health minister has the virus. Paris restaurants are reopening, perhaps? Secret Service finally admits it used pepper spray on protesters before Trump church pick. Okay. The agency reversed its previous claim days after Park Police did the same. Okay. They should not have required being sprayed with pepper spray. Canada Indigenous Chief Alan Adam battered during arrest. A violent arrest and police custody deaths have ignited anti-police brutality protests across Canada. Mm -hmm. What was the chief doing? I'm just saying, if you want to be objective, tell all sides. Do more of what you love. That's the whole thing, though. You don't really want to be objective. If you love to stream, meme, and keep up with your scene, oh, ho, ho. Yahoo Mobile gives you the unlimited data, text, and talk to help you do more of it, all without annual contracts or hidden fees. So nothing comes between you and what you want to do. What's hot? Yahoo Search. Trending now, Black Lives Matter, Eliz Elizaveta Boyarskaya, Elizaveta Boyar Boyarskaya, coronavirus, Alicia Bo, Alyssa Milano, highest rated refrigerators, Paulina Poroskova, Cobra Insurance, is that insurance for your Cobra? <laughs> Refrigerator filters, Katie Stevens. Okay. 21440. Good morning. It's Monday, June 15th, and we're covering a horrifying find in Libya, a new Christopher Nolan film, and more. Need to know. Atlanta Police Chief resigns. Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields, that's a woman, y'all, resigned over the weekend following the shooting of a black man outside a fast food restaurant. Officers originally approached the man, 27-year-old Rayshard Brooks, after responding to calls of an inebriated driver who had fallen asleep in a Wendy's drive-thru. According to reports, Brooks took an officer's taser during a struggle and was shot while fleeing. Yet, somehow, the chief has to resign for that. A Georgia Bureau of Investigation press release suggests Brooks turned and pointed the taser at officers while fleeing. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms said despite the report, she did not feel the use of deadly force was justified. Oh, brother. The officer in question was fired. 
Police body camera footage was released yesterday. Warning, content may be disturbing. The incident sparked renewed protests. The Wendy's was set on fire. Oh my goodness. While crowds shut down a nearby highway in a city already roiled by demonstrations over the death of George Floyd three weeks ago. What are you doing? Shields is the latest in a string of shakeups to police leadership in major cities, including Portland, Oregon, and Louisville, Kentucky. In Minneapolis, at least 14 police officers have resigned or have submitted paperwork, with many citing lack of support from police leadership amid the protests. Mass graves found in Libya. At least eight mass graves were uncovered near the Libyan town of Tarhuna, United Nations officials announced over the weekend, in areas recaptured from general-turned-warlord Khalifa Haftar. The grim discovery raises fears of widespread war crimes and is a reminder of the bloody nine-year struggle that has followed the ousting of former dictator Muammar al-Qaddafi in 2011. Current fighting broke out in 2014 following an election that saw 18% voter turnout and pushed Islamist factions from power. As I was saying, current fighting broke out in 2014 following an election that saw 18% voter turnout and pushed Islamist factions from power. Since then, the country has become a proxy battleground for global powers. The UN-backed government controls the capital of Tripoli and many major cities, while Haftar's forces enjoy covert Russian support and control around three-quarters of the country's oil-rich land. Up to 25,000 people are believed to have been killed during the fighting, with more than 250,000 displaced. See a primer on the conflict here. Wear your face masks, study says. Oh, brother. Face masks are the most efficient method of preventing the spread of the coronavirus, according to a new analysis of infection data from northern Italy and New York City. The data revealed that mandates for facial coverings in the two epicenters correlated with a drop in the number of new cases by roughly half and two-thirds, respectively, over the time period studied. The results align with previous research showing airborne transmissions as the most virulent route for new infections. Though spread can occur by direct, via touching, and indirect, via surfaces, means viral particles have been shown to survive for hours when aerosolized from coughing or sneezing. Even imperfect facial coverings may prevent such particles from spreading. Still, researchers warn that face mask requirements alone are not sufficient to halt the pandemic. Anecdotally, no new cases were observed from two Missouri hairdressers who saw 140 clients while sick, but had implemented face mask requirements. Cases have begun to spike in places like Florida and Texas. The U.S. has reported 2.1 million total cases with 115,732 deaths as of this morning. See the three-day rolling average here. Every dollar you can save helps. From honey. There's no doubt about it. These days, we're shopping online more than ever. Household essentials, comfy work-from-home attire, food delivery, costs can really add up. So it's important to make every dollar count. And we found a tool that'll help you out. A lot. Honey, now part of the PayPal family, is a desktop browser extension that finds, tests, and applies the best coupon codes to your cart so you never overpay again. The average Honey member saves $126 a year, which has earned it over 100,000 five-star reviews in the Google Chrome store. And the best part? It's totally free to use and takes less than two minutes to install. Look no further for savings year-round at stores like Macy's, Lowe's, Overstock, Target, GameStop, Pizza Hut, and J. Crew. What are you waiting for? Join Honey today. Please support our sponsors. In the know, sports, entertainment, and culture. ABC's The Bachelor in its 25th season announces Matt James as its first black male lead. So virtuous. Sushant Singh Rajput. Kind of weird that they've never had a black lead, a black bachelor before. Singh Rajput. Bollywood film and TV actor found dead in Mumbai home at 34. Christopher Nolan's sci-fi thriller Tenet opening pushed to July 31st. 
was originally expected to be the first big studio film released since the panic began. Latest James Bond film, No Time to Die, moves up U.S. release date to November 20th. Science and Technology Gardasil, currently used as a vaccine for the human papillomavirus, or HPV, approved for use as a preventative measure against against head and neck cancer. Researchers find evidence of bow and arrow use in the tropical rainforests of Sri Lanka roughly 48,000 years ago. It represents the oldest known use of projectile tools outside of Africa. Immune cells known as neutrophils aid cancer spread through enzymes released by fibers otherwise meant to capture and trap pathogens in the bloodstream. Business and Markets U.S. stock markets recover after Thursday's big losses, and Friday up. S&P 500 up 1.3%, Dow up 1.9%, NASDAQ up 1.1%. Hertz receives approval from bankruptcy court to raise $1 billion in equity as retail investors drive stock price appreciation despite looming bankruptcy. U.S. senators send questions to video conferencing giant Zoom CEO Eric Yun Yan after company closed Chinese activist accounts. Hmm. Politics and World Affairs Russia sentences former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan to 16 years in prison for espionage. Diplomats called the closed trial unfair. Whelan says he was set up by a Russian acquaintance. Hmm. President Trump reschedules first campaign rally since before the pan panic from June 19th to June 20th. Event in Tulsa, Oklahoma originally coincided with Juneteenth, the date commemorating the end of slavery in the U.S. History of Juneteenth. Boko Haram affiliated militants kill at least 60 in northeastern Nigeria following the massacre of 69 villagers last week. Savings for all. We are all tired of searching for promo codes, opening hundreds of tabs, and visiting sketchy coupon sites just to get deals on our online orders. But now you never have to do that again, thanks to Honey, one of the newest additions to the PayPal family. With Honey's desktop browser extension, you get access to instant coupon codes at tens of thousands of sites like Pizza Hut, Target, Macy's, GameStop, and Overstock. Honey has already saved its members over $2 billion, and it's free to join. Start saving now. Please support our sponsors, etc. Dave Chappelle releases hard-hitting special on George Floyd. Oh. How the 3.5% rule can change the world. Okay, what is that? Probably something stupid. Oh, it's from BBC. <sighs> Nonviolent protests are twice as likely to succeed as armed conflicts, and those engaging a threshold of 3.5% of the population have never failed to bring about change. Ah. Uh, emphasis on the nonviolent part, guys. I'm not going to read all that. A 14 year old Chicago girl earns master's degree in environmental science. Uh, environmental science. From our partners, work from anywhere and stay connected. Join thousands of companies moving faster and more efficiently. Start your free trial here. Hashtag ad. The best documentaries of 2020 so far. Captivating photos of a light-filled Antarctica. The real reason the nation's capital doesn't have skyscrapers. This artist stays busy cranking out tiny machines. Hmm. Frontline workers have a message for the class of 2020. Frontline workers. By this, you're still meaning doctors and nurses? I just... I would like to see these fuckers cope with an actual frontline. Let's say back in war times... World War One, Civil War, those frontline medics, men and women, uh, they were really frontline workers. Just saying. 
Clickbait. Poland accidentally invades the Czech Republic. Heh. <laughs> no, but... Really. Part of, the, part of the problem with people these days is that we get congratulated for things that would have been fucking commonplace or super easy to people long ago. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the confidence, overconfidence, it's overconfidence. It's the self-esteem. Self-esteem is just so important. Everybody has to feel good about themselves. And yet, the world is shitty. History book. Magna Carta is sealed by King John, 1215. Arlington National Cemetery is established, 1864. Henry Ossian Flipper becomes first black graduate from West Point, 1877. Happy birthday, rapper and actor Ice Cube, 1969. Rest in peace, jazz singer Ella Fitzgerald, 1996. Where there is love and inspiration, I don't think you can go wrong. Ella Fitzgerald. Hmm. Back to this 14-year-old uh, ch college Chicago girl earns master's degree in environmental science. I, it's so frustrating to me that kids who are apparently intelligent enough to do college work, get degrees at young ages, are wasting so much time on things that, I don't know. Yes, I do see environmental science as a waste. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I just feel like there's so many other things one could do that would be a better use of your time and your apparent intelligence. <clears throat> That's all for today. Enjoy reading. Forward this email to a friend. Thank you, 1440. Thank you. Anybody who's watching, I don't expect many people to be watching because uh, it hasn't really happened so far. But if anybody does and you find any sort of value or uh, intelligence or entertainment in my videos, do consider subscribing to me or just comment. Comment your, your angry thoughts. Comment your hate. Comment your vitriol. Comment your ridicule. Whatever. Goodbye.